Let's speak now to Mark Weisbrot, co-director of the Center for Economic and Policy Research in Washington. I know you've been following this crisis in Venezuela. What impact do you think American sanctions will have? Well, I think they'll have a negative impact, uh, certainly on the economy, if, depending on which ones they do, but they could have the power to really devastate the economy, further increase hunger and the shortage of medicines and, and everything else. But also, they're very polarizing. I mean, you know, if you look at the United States and think of the polarization that we've had uh, from the alleged interference of Russia in uh, the elections here, you know, just multiply that over by 100. Uh, in terms of what, how it polarizes Venezuela to have a foreign power which has basically been trying to get rid of this government for, you know, for 15 years. They supported a coup in 2002. And it's still a polarized uh, country, uh, even though President Maduro's uh, approval rating is only around uh, 20 percent. You still have millions of people who, um, who, who really have reason to fear that I if the opposition wins, uh, that they would be persecuted as they were uh, after the 2002 coup when the government began to round up uh, officials, the, the coup government, that is, the dictatorship that was installed right after the coup, uh, began to round up government officials and, and dozens of people were killed within the first 36 hours. So you really have to have a negotiated solution where both sides uh, can know or trust that the authority that comes out of the next elections, which Maduro has, has promised to have the presidential elections on schedule, uh, they, they, they have to know that, 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 that nobody, the losing side, isn't going to suffer from uh, political repression and, and persecution. That's why negotiations are so important. And the, the Trump strategy, which is consistent really with most of the last uh, 16 years of regime change, is, is, is going to, uh, it really could push the country towards a civil war. Uh, Mark, uh, President Maduro clearly has some hopes that at some point this vote will be seen as legitimate and the Constituent Assembly likewise, or at the very least a done deal. Do you think in fact the country is going to go deeper into crisis, the more violence is inevitable? Yes, you have to remember there's violence on both sides. Like, you know, you hear these totals, 125 uh, people killed. But uh, we don't really know how many were killed by the opposition and how many by security forces and how many j just bystanders. I mean, in 2014, they had these violent protests, and it was about even between the security forces and the uh, and the opposition. I think it's probably something like that now, but you don't really know. So uh, there was a lot of violence trying to prevent this uh, vote from taking place on uh, Sunday. That was opposition, you know, violent protest. So it's really, that, that's why I say it's, it's, it's very deeply polarized uh, and it really has to be resolved uh, through negotiations. Otherwise, uh, it could very well descend into civil war. We see how these regime change strategies have worked out you know, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Syria, in Libya, and even in, you know, Central America in the 1980s, Haiti and uh, Honduras in the, uh, in the 21st century, everywhere where the United States has uh, supported regime change and, and, and pushed it, and in many cases succeeded in, in getting it, uh, it's been very, very bad. And I think that's why uh, these sanctions would be further sanctions and f further polarization uh, coming from the U.S. would be a terrible move. There's a lot of opposition to these sanctions here in the U.S. as well, coming from the business sector, from the energy sector, from uh, people, you know, the White House itself is, is divided on this. Uh, actually, a number well, of members of Congress has just sent a letter on Friday to the administration uh, asking them not to institute any further sanctions. Mark, we're clearly going to come back to this. Thank you very much indeed for your insights on it.